This video will look at how you can add images into Blackboard. There are two different ways you can do that. <clears throat> you can use the build content button and choose image, or you'll be able to insert images anywhere you have a text editor, such as a Blackboard item. Let's look at both routes, and that way you can choose which is best for you. Uh, so kind of the built-in version for this um, is the image uh, tool here. And so you get to the content area where you'd like to place the image, You'll hover over build content and choose image. You'll have to title it just like most things in Blackboard. Uh, so I'm going to use uh, the name of the website where I obtained these uh, royalty free images. You'll have to browse your computer to locate the file. Uh, let's just choose one of these. Um, you'll be able to give it an alt text. Um, so this might be a short description. Um, um, or you might be able to also paste the uh, URL to the image in case it doesn't display. Uh, this long description box, this is where you want to provide something that's detailed. Um, so that way if you've got students that are vision impaired in your course, their screen readers will read this uh, detailed description of the image. Uh, this part can be confusing um, for those that aren't used to dealing with images. Um, so by default it'll set to original, so no matter how big or small the picture is, that's what it's going to display as. You can use custom if you're comfortable determining the best pixel size. Uh, if you want a border, which would be a black line around your image, you can use that. Um, if you found the image online, you can include the URL here. And then uh, you have the option to have that image open in a new tab, which is good because it allows the student to stay where they're, wherever they're at within Blackboard, and it also um, provides them a full look at that image file. Uh, otherwise, if you click No, um, it's going to place it within that content folder, and we'll look at that first. Um, and then down here near the bottom, uh, we want to permit uh, our students to see the content, so yes, and we can track the number of views. So when we click submit, what we're going to see is that it's probably going to be a, a very large image uh, placed in the course, which um, if you're not comfortable editing those dimensions, um, this, this route can be problematic because um, look at how large the file is in the course. Um, and you can't really edit this here. You have to kind of toggle those um, dimension sizes. So this is one way you can do it. Uh, a way that I like to include images is to, uh, through a Blackboard content item. And so let's delete this one just because it takes up a lot of space. And so this is the second route. We're going to click uh, or hover over build content and choose item. Um, and we have to title it like normal. Um, I like to provide a little context uh, to the image. Uh, get wherever you'd like to be, and then you're going to uh, click this small picture icon, which is insert or edit an image. If you don't see this, like always, um, you'll use this down arrow on your text editor to expand the number of tools that you have. So we will click the insert image button. It'll allow you to browse your computer again. So uh, let's go back to one of these. Um, so this is where we want to give it a description. I like to be detailed here. Um, and then a title of it, so that way uh, you can always locate it. Um, the last picture was a VHS tape. I'm not real sure. I think this might actually be a, um, oh, it's an old car phone. Um, and then when we click insert, it's going to insert that image in that text editor. Now, uh, part of the reason we're looking at this route is because the image was so large in the content area, we couldn't see it. So the benefit to um, using a content item is you don't have to know how to manage or uh, toggle those um, dimension sizes. So what you can do is if you right click it, it'll kind of highlight that item. I'm now left clicking so it's blue and getting rid of that menu. And I can grab one of these corners and I can just uh, adjust the size of the picture to get it just where I want it or um, to the right size or a more manageable size for Blackboard or mobile phones. Um, and so let's say you get it in 
If you've forgotten the um, alt tag or image, uh, anything like that, you can right click it uh, again and choose image. Um, and that'll let you update or replace that image. And then when you get done, uh, well, actually, like always, come down to the bottom, make sure it's visible to your students. Uh, if you want to track the number of views, click yes, and then click submit. And what we're going to see with this uh, method or route, as I've been saying, is that it's going to be smaller and more manageable in the course. These are large, high quality images, so that's why you see it uh, kind of loading in pieces. Um, so just a quick recap, there are two different ways that you can insert images. The first is through build content image, or you can create a blackboard item such as this and um, use the insert image button to add it there. Uh, and the benefit of using a content item is that it's easier to adjust the size of that image.